Here at New Way, we are commissioning a new test stand for our air bearings and gas bearings and turbo equipment. So at this end, you can see there's four eddy current probes at 90 degrees from each other. Two of them are looking directly at the shaft. Two of them are looking at a target that is connected to the bearing cartridge. Now between the bearing cartridge and this retainer, there's a squeeze film damper. So we're also able to see what the motion of the damper inside the retainer is and what the motion of the bearing inside both the retainer, I mean inside both the bearing cartridge and the rotor. In this cutaway view, notice that the gas bearing pads fit into a bearing cartridge and bearing cartridges fit into the two pedestals. Between the pedestals we have several unbalance weights for test. In order to replicate the first critical of an actual rotor at 2,350 RPM, the unbalance weights are designed to create their design forces at 2,350 RPM. Here the calculations also show the forces at 800 RPM, which would be 25 pounds, 1,600 RPM, which is 100 pounds, and 2,400 RPM, which is over 200 pounds of force. The second unbalance weight uh, creates twice the force. So at 800 RPM we've got 50 pounds of force, 1600 RPM, 200 pounds of force, and at 2400 RPM we've got 400 pounds of continuous force rotating around the 360 degrees and acting on the shaft. Here you see the 200 pound unbalance weight spinning at a low speed. So running at the natural frequency of the rotor, and we'll be spinning down in turbo gear, you can see this unbalance weight spinning between two sets of bearings or pads. Then here you can see how it is rattling the whole table by looking at the water. See the water will settle out, set it down and it'll start so we've got a real good shake going on here. Hey man, how much is your indicator shaking over there? Thousand and a half vibration on this side. Thousands and a half vibration. We've got this uh, running at 2,400 RPM. Then at a balance weight of about 200 pounds and uh, it's shaking the shop. Okay, now uh, we've been running this for two and a half hours at 2,400 RPM. Uh, the, the unbalanced force is 400 pounds at that speed. And uh, the waveform really looks about exactly like it did when it started. So it's just running the same now as it did when we started it after two and a half hours. Regarding displacement data, at 2400 RPMs with the 400 pound test weight, the maximum motion of the shaft, which includes the damper motion, was two and a quarter thousandths of an inch. Generally, the damper motion was 25 to 50 percent of the total motion. When we added oil at about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, the damper motion decreased about 10% from the no oil condition.